says Kane. Kane. Kane, baby. Kane. Let me stand up and model. Kane. Yeah, stand up and model for me. Mess up the sound though. Kane. You see it? K A N G, baby. K A N G. Talk about it. Talk about it. Well, basically, Kane, since we on this country thing, Kane is, um, I, I'm a country boy. Mm -hmm. Not forget that. How you would ask a country dude, if you ask a country dude how to say the word king, mm -hmm. my granddaddy from Val Austin, Georgia, mm -hmm. if you ask him how to say the word king, he gonna say king. Mm -hmm. He used to say, boy, go right that yard. Because I'm the king of this castle. <laughs> go right that yard. Um, I took the word king and turned it into an acronym. Mm -hmm. um, Southerners, country boys have never been known to be hustlers and grinders. Mm -hmm. We never was. People use country boys to trick us. Like people would have work or drug dealers or whoever you is from wherever you're from. They treated us like we were uh, stupid or bunkins of, oh, the country boys. I could sell it to the country boys. I could, I, I could, I could buy it for 500 sell it for 600 but I, I sell it for 600 here. But them country boys, they don't know no better. I'm going to sell it to them for 800 and because the country boys don't have a plug to get whatever they had to get where they from, we had to go to Atlanta where they was calling those country boys. Or we had to go to New York or L.A. To, 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 you know, so they called us country boys. They looked at us like we weren't equal as them. They looked like we were dumb. They looked like we were bunking. So I came to the show. No, we ain't dumb. We ain't stupid. Ain't nothing about us dumb and stupid. It's just y'all got the plugs. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, same thing with the music. It was in New York, it was in LA. Country boys couldn't get their love or respect that we needed because all the plugs, Def Jam, and <laughs> it's in New York and LA, yeah. Interscope. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, they wouldn't go below the Mason Dixon line. Right, you know right, right. It's so like, now that, the, that they're scouting below the Mason Dixon line, first now, mm -hmm. you know, like, I think, I feel like Field Mob is the reason why y'all doing that. You know, we were always considered country buckets. Field Mark came out as lyrical. Yes. As lyrical. Country boys are considered lyrical. Mm -hmm. they, we're not supposed to be that lyrical. We're not supposed to be that smart. No, we just talk like this and walk like this. It ain't got nothing to do with our mental. Yeah, we're, we're not stupid. Yeah, yeah you, you, I, um, I wanted to tell you that too. You're very, you're very, very lyrical. I was listening to some of your early music with uh, Field Mob. Right. And, um, you know, the videos were funny and, and, yeah. and very silly energetic, and energetic, yeah. yeah, and hype. But it did not take away from your obvious talent. No. It really, it did not because no. the, what it showed was your diversity. Yes. You know? So. More than a rapper. Exactly. I mean, that and. And if, if people could just sometimes just take the beat, like drop the beat out, take the beat away and just let, right. let somebody just go right. in with the lyrics, you right. know, and just feel it, just just right. hear deeply, right. you know, that's what I hear from you. That's what our mission, and I'm glad you said it, that was our mission. Mm -hmm. You can go pop in, I got no problem with that song, Fasachi Fasachi. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, when they come on in the club, I jam. Yeah, we, we all. But it sounds good mm -hmm. in the club, you know, <laughs> but you know, like. Feel my music was, you know, more lyrical. I tried to, we tried to, like I said, we tried to show people that we, we, we were not just, uh, you know, one, two, three, A, B, C, adolescent rappers. We, 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 we smart young know I men. Um, being in Feel My wasn't hard. It was not easy. It, we, uh, I like to call us the the, 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 what they call the black people. What they call NAACP. What did they call that movement? Um, um, the black, you know. Not supremacists, but, but you know that help out the blacks like in the me and Sean with those cats that made it cool for you to accept country dude. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah, yeah. The pioneers. Yeah, we were the pioneers, the pioneers of it. Like y'all didn't like it at first. It was called lame. It was called jive. It was called whack. And tell me and, and Sean and some more other cats. Yeah. Kemp C, rest in peace. Mm -hmm. You know, came in and was like, you know, we took the, you know, Martin Luther King. Took all the and Malcolm X, they took all the blows and stabs and bullets for us to be the black people we are. I yeah. feel like Pimp C and Bun B, Eight Ball and MJG, mm -hmm. Goody Mob, Outcast first album and Field Mob, we took those blows for y'all to make a song called Versace Versace. Yes. Preach, 
Preach it, Smoke. So, For real. That leads into what advice would you give to, you know, a young artist that's out there right now, you know, trying to come up. And you've been through it. Right, right, right. Uh, everything is a grind. It's, a, it, it, it's, it's, it's hard work. God put you on man, put us men on earth to work. We have to work. If you want to see, you're not because you're not a man, and if you're not working, man works. So you know it's a grind. Um, people wonder why this dude right here, it, with less talent, has more money than the dude with more talent and has less money. You know what I mean? That dude that has more talent and less money, he's not working hard as uh, Mr. Less Talented. So it's a grind. Like, you got to get out there. Um, that doesn't mean that the less talented. No, less talented music is not the number one music. It's just the less talented dudes are working harder than the two with all the talent. Drake is a prime example of great talent, and he works hard, and it shows. Gucci Man is a prime example of, okay, Know, his lyrics are not as like Drake's, okay. not as diverse as Drake's. And I'm not talking about Gucci, man. He's from Georgia. Georgia power. I love Gucci. Um, but his lyrics are not like Drake's, but he's out here working hard as Drake. And, and, and that's why he gets to do a song with Mariah Carey. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, so it, it's a grind. Like, you got to get out there and work it. You got to believe in it first, because if you don't believe in it, you don't work hard. Yeah. You know, uh, you believe in your music. And then you go work hard at what you believe in. You know, you believe in it first, and then you execute on what you believe in. And that's that's what a lot of cats are doing. They go in the studio, and they know they're good, and they they're great, and they go in the studio, make these good songs, and all they want to hear is their friends saying, "You should be, you should be on the top, you should be where Jay Z at." Oh, this is a great song. They want to ride and smoke some weed to it or something. No, you got to take it further than smoke some weed to it or, or, or making a record just to hear somebody stroke your ego. You got to get that record and work that record, put in the work with that record. Raise it like a child. Right. It's, you know? It is your child. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, like I look at all my songs as children and, mm -hmm. you know, my new song Fidelity is my new child, my newborn child. We'll talk about that later. Okay. But, okay. All right. Know. Congratulations on that one. <laughs> <laughs> the new member to the family. Right. <laughs> Let's talk about the video a little bit. The video you shot the other day that I was behind on behind okay. the scenes on. Um, um, basically, it's called On the Road Again. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's a lot of cats out there. I'm not no dope boy. None of that. Not I have done that, but I'm not that. Uh, people get in the rap game, they think you're supposed to be gangsters to make mm -hmm. it. Uh, they put this certain stigma on that you got this. You got to be a pimp, a hustler, a gangster. No, feel more. Like you said, we was energetic, laughing. Hey, 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 what nothing gangster about them videos? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We weren't trying to promote gangster, we was promoting country. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't this gangster, that's where you from, that's where you live, that's how you live. I'm talking about what you went through. Mm -hmm. That's cool. You know what I mean? But, yeah. like, you know, um, with the music that I make, as far as, you know, it's not, it's not gangster music, <laughs> it, it's, it's fun music. It's real music. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's um, life. Right, it's, it's life. It's, I talk about what happened in Albany. Yeah. He talks about what happened in Texas. Mm -hmm. you, know, mm -hmm. you know, I forgot the question you asked. No, <laughs> you know? no. Yes, and let's talk about the video. Too. Oh, yeah, so basically, oh, yeah. the video, I'm not a dope boy. Like I told you, but I have done certain things, and this song is a trafficking record. It's okay. called On the Road Again, and it talks about roads and taking those penitentiary chances on the road mm -hmm. with whatever you got in your trunk trying to make it from Florida back to Georgia safely without the cops stopping you. Uh -huh. you know what I mean? And you know that was basically <laughs> the record it was about and, and I tried to put it make it visual. Oh man, it's visual, y'all. <laughs> it is very visual. I mean this man right here should get get an award for the acting in, <laughs> in the video. You did such a good job. Thank you. Um a lot of times people think uh, artists write lyrics about their true life. And I had asked one uh, artist one night, he came on and <clears throat> I said, is it the story of your life? And he said, no, it's more like my life story. Right. You know, like my
my, I, I can change it because it includes a little bit from here. Maybe one of my friends went through it and I, I'm writing about it. And it may seem like it's me, but it didn't necessarily have to be me that went through right. it. Right. Because a lot of people think that, oh, they're writing about everything that they did. Is, is that true for you? Like you can be surrounded by? Most definitely, yeah. I think. I think all rappers do it. I think the best rappers do it. Um, you know, when it's real, um, it comes out better. Yeah. When it's honest, it comes out better. Um, Tupac Shakur is probably my favorite artist yeah. besides Prince. Me too. Um, we like Gemini's. Why? <laughs> we're Gemini's. We're Gemini's. <laughs> right. talking about you know his struggles as being Tupac you know at first when Pop came out he wasn't the, the, the gangster at first he was the god body the black panther because his mother was a black panther right. you know he grew up in New York and he grew up in a, a area where you know um, they were more on health uh, blah, blah, blah. five five percenters um Black Panthers, they were pro-black. He grew up in a pro-black environment. Mm -hmm. So that it was the type of music he made. Right. He made that type of music. He got money off that type of music. And then he came out with a song called, I Get It Around. Yeah. Get, get it? Because his life changed. Yes. His yes. life changed to party and fun and money. Yes. You, you know have what I mean? to evolve. Right. And so you evolve. Rick Ross was the same way. Rick Ross was a drug peddler. In his first song, and he was Temple One done, and then he, mm -hmm. he he expanded. He kept working, and he became the boss, Rick Ross Rose. Mm -hmm. And he talked about peddling then. Mm -hmm. Then he got into his boss stuff. He talked about being a drug dealer. Mm -hmm. Now he's the plug. He's boss. He is Pablo Noriega. He is, and his life got better and better. The way now he can't talk about what he used to do then. All he could talk about is the. New phantom raps that he exactly. got. You know, some people want to hear it, some people don't. Yeah. But you can't 